I've lived in Washington more than 30 years, but until a few weeks ago, I never knew what went on behind the walls of a Navy base just outside the city. Here's our Power Player of the Week. We start with modeling and simulation and do model testing, and then that actually translates into a ship design. So we actually, the fleet literally begins right here. Dr. Tim Arcano is talking about the Naval Surface Warfare Center outside Washington. A remarkable installation where scientists design, build, and test ship prototypes. How important is this facility in designing the Navy of the 21st century? You don't want to just go out and build a new ship. You want to be able to develop it in a, a smart way. So you reduce the risk, reduce the cost by using models. It starts on computer. They test the shape of the hull, materials to be used, how they can make it harder for an enemy to detect and more fuel efficient. Then they make a scale model, usually 1 20th the size of the actual ship, and take it to the David Taylor Model Basin. The basin is 3,200 feet long. They can create two-foot waves and tow a model up to 60 miles per hour. We can make sure that we, the ships that ultimately get designed and built are safe and survivable and effective warfighting platforms for the United States Navy. That demands precision. They can record 400 types of data on how the model is going through the water. And the rails that run the 3,000 feet along the sides of the basin are shaped to curve with the Earth's surface. They're actually designed within two one-thousandths of an inch or one-tenth of the average thickness of a fingernail. But they're not done. Next, the model goes to the mast, the maneuvering and sea-keeping facility. 240 feet wide, 360 feet long. It's five acres under one roof. We're able to run radio-controlled, free-running models up to 30 feet in length in open ocean conditions, creating the seas as if they were actually being generated up to the highest sea state that you'd see in the ocean. All that testing works. Arcano showed us a scale model of the Arleigh Burke class destroyer, to which they added a small flap in the stern to redistribute the flow around the hull. This actually increases the efficiency tremendously of a ship moving through the water. So from that, we're able to achieve great fuel savings, and it actually increases the range and the speed of the destroyer. Just this flap here. Yes, sir. Navy ships are typically operational for more than 30 years, so it's essential to work out all the problems before they're built. As they say, this is where the fleet begins. The walls of this facility are adorned with the history of the past in terms of all the models that have been tested here. Developing advanced cutting-edge technologies that are going to benefit the sailor and marine who are on the tip of the spear of our nation's defense. And what more could you ask for? What a fascinating place. Once again, this.